Hey, welcome to another one of my videos. Now, this is about Fry's Electronics, and this particular store is Fry's Electronics in Burbank, California. Now, it's rumored that Fry's is going out of business because of the Amazon situation, but Fry's stipulate that they <laughs> are reformatting their stores. Now, it is true they claim that they are giving up the La Piente store because they have lost their lease there. Now, I've worked for corporations, and they're very stealth about going out of business or selling the company. They don't want their employee to ship. But they stipulate they're going to reformat their store and stay in biz. However, the research that I have found says that one of the brothers had a very huge gambling debt, and they had to sell off their inventory to cover that debt. However, that is yet to be determined. And just look at this parking lot, this enormous parking lot. It is near empty. There were days, and especially weekends, when I would come here and this parking lot was packed. You wouldn't see any of the lines or the separations for the car slots. It's incredible how much this has changed. This is the Burbank, California store, which theme is science fiction. High atop the entrance door is a flying object. The term was coined in 1930, but has generally been supplemented since 1952 by the United States Air Force. Term unidentified flying objects or UFOs. Let's enter the store and check out the rest of the decor. Here we're coming up with the old service station style from the 50s. And here we have a boy passing out newspapers talking about the ever-increasing space invaders. Here inside the store where the UFO crash landed and you can see all the little rodent Martians hanging out. Yeah, they are just piling out. Sure, the shops, I guess. <laughs> oh, and here's one of our army buddies who is trying to help keep them from invading. And yet, his truck cut in half with, I guess, a laser. <laughs> and yet, he's still there trying to shoot and protect us all. A father of three boys, Charles Fry, sold his Fry's supermarket based in California back in 1972 for 14 million dollars and gave the proceeds to his three sons. And his three sons turned it into electronics business. Now I admit, I don't know too much about these old black and white sci-fi shows. and They were for TV actually. And uh, here we're coming up on a robot called Gort. And he is a fictional humanoid robot heard first in the 1951 20th Century Fox American science fiction film The Day Earth Stood Still, later in its 2008 remake. Now I have seen the movie The Old Black and White, and the film storyline involves a humanoid alien visitor named Klaatu that comes to Earth accompanied by a powerful foot-tall robot to deliver an important message that will affect the entire human race. Yikes, there's another one of those alien rodents to capture me, I guess. Now, after Charles Rice sold his business, he gave one million each to each of his three sons. <laughs> well, they're cutting back. Almighty <laughs> Amazon. Here they come. Them is a 1954 American black and white fiction film. The film is based on an original story by George Worthington Yates. Them is one of the first of the 1950s nuclear monster film and the first big bug feature. The story goes, a nest of gigantic, irritated ants is discovered in the New Mexico desert. They quickly become a national threat when two queen ants are found in the concrete spillways and storm drain system of Los Angeles. 
Looking around, they still have a lot of the large appliances. Alright, coming over here, I find this very fascinating. The 50s, they uh, when they did the models, they did very, very small. Days when they do models, are going to explode. They are quite big and they look more realistic now, but this is a fun look at. The models being very small handle, they never did look all that realistic. So it's always a lot to watch some of these older movies. All right, our attention over here to another one of those blast jeeps, and this kills if you good look at this face. I don't understand what that thing is that he's got in his mouth. <laughs> so, uh, there has to be some humor in some of this stuff. All right, let's get close up on some of these other very small models that they used. See the big giant there, and here we're coming up on a gigantic octopus. I don't know if that was a movie. I must have missed that one in growing up with these old 50s movies. Now, the 50s movies were way ahead of my time, <laughs> but I did, you know, come across a couple from friends who got into this stuff. Personally, I couldn't sit there and watch any of these movies. All right, now if I'm not mistaken, this is part of Clue's uh, spaceship, although it doesn't really resemble the one that I saw in the uh, movie. All right, we're going to head over to the Air Force, who are probably rocking it to the ants to go shoot them down. Or maybe they're going after those cute little rodent aliens. I must say, these things have got to weigh a lot. I mean, even if they were made of paper shea, and I know they're not, they've got to be very heavy, and to put them up has got to be a strain. Here's a Atomic Cafe. This is great. They play old black and white movies from the sci-fi era, and do it in a drive-in theater style. And you sit in these cars, and they're actually tables that you get waited on. All right, now if this comes from any movie, I must have missed it, but I'm not surprised. It's like that I was big on any 50s black and white movie while growing up in the 60s. I love the color of that octopus. And I think this is a great idea how they put the tentacles underneath the tables showing that he's coming up out of the floor and makes a good stand for the tables to display the computers. It's a great idea. Very creative. Charles' three sons, John, who worked as an IT manager for the supermarket chain that Charles sold, also Randy and David, neither of whom who wanted any interest in the supermarket. All right, we're getting up on more of them. <laughs> so I guess he all by himself because I think the other ones were on the other side of the store. Here's one brave officer trying to ward off this gigantic ant all by himself. Being brave, that's something you won't see too much today. Now, the three brothers, along with one other investor, had no clue about the grocery business, so they decided to go into a business that they did know, which was electronics. And opening the first site, Sunnyvale, California. Okay, and that brings us to the back side of entrance of the gas station. The old style gas station, white and red. All right, well, just about for us here inside the building, I really like the scheme here, to tell you the truth. All right, this was all about Fry's Burbank, and I thought I'd give you a little view. That turquoise building right there, that used to be the Yahoo corporate office right there. <laughs> uh, everything's changing. You had to wonder what these uh, properties would be. Um, this is near an airport. So I don't believe that they can put industrials since most commerce type buildings where you need to buy things are going to be gone to Amazon and who knows when Amazon's too big to fail 
what happens then? Where are the stores? Because the property, this property, how huge it is. What happens to this property? Does it get into residential? I mean, what could you use it for? Anyway, that takes us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. I hope you'll subscribe and click that bell for future videos, and I'll see you in the next one.